Hey guys, Henry here from Product Creation Formula. In this video, we're going to be doing a versus video between Canva and Krillo slash Vistacreate. Now, why do I say Krillo slash Vistacreate? Primarily because late last year, Krillo was purchased by Vistaprint and they renamed it Vistacreate. Now, before we go ahead and do that, I just want to let you know, here at Product Creation Formula, we love to give you tips and tricks to be able to help you create your products quickly and easily. Along with that, we also do product reviews, as well as tips on how to make money online. So if that's the sort of thing that interests you, how about you smash that like button, as well as subscribe, and hit the bell icon, so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Now, before we go check out the video, to let you know, stick around to the end, because there's going to also be a dad joke. Right, let's go check it out. All right, now in this part of the video, what we're going to be looking at is we're going to be looking at Canva and Vista Create. Now, Vista Create used to be known as Crello, and Crello was bought out just a little bit later last year, in the late part of last year, and it was bought out by Vista Print. And Vista Print decided to purchase them, and all they really did, by the looks of it, was just put their logo on there, and they decided to call it Vista Create instead of Crello. So what they've done, they've literally just rebranded it to their own name. So what we're doing is we're going to be having a bit of a comparison between Canva and also Vista Create. Now let's have a quick look at the differences between them. Now I know for a fact that when it comes to Canva you have a lot more features. Now over here I'm able to create things like book covers, logos, Okay, of course you can do Instagram posts, but you can also do ebook covers. You can also do presentations, Facebook posters, thumbnails for YouTube. You've got YouTube channel art. You've also got Facebook posts, as well as flyers, A4 documents. Uh, your story, if you want to put, create that, magazine covers, Instagram, desktop. Uh, business cards, infographics, as well as resumes, t-shirts, album covers, cards, landscape pins, and that's about it. But with Create, Vista Create, you've got YouTube thumbnails, you've got ebooks, you've got channel art, Instagram posts, square video posts, Facebook posts, Instagram video stories, Instagram stories, video full video HD, you've got posters, you've got square graphics, you've got Facebook covers, Pinterest graphics, logos, you also have Instagram ads, po uh, Facebook ads, Twitter posts, blog headers, flyers, Tumblr graphics, Facebook graphics, a lot of stuff to do with social media in fact. Although they do have an awful lot if you don't want to necessarily do 3D things. You can do TikTok, all these other options. And it says show more and you can also have a look at the other things that they want to show you. Now there, there does seem to be a lot there, but a lot of it is actually doubled up because we're talking social media posts pretty, pretty much. Okay, so the first thing we want to probably try and do is to create some YouTube thumbnails. YouTube thumbnail, that'll do. What we'll do is we will create this from scratch. And then we'll have also have a look at the different sizing as well. So you can have a look at this. That's nice. You can have a look at some of the things I have here. You can choose some of the different images and decide if this is something you want to keep. Let's have a look at that. I'm not sure what this is. We can have a quick look. It's very quick, quick and oh yes, okay, we can get rid of this. We don't need that image there. We can delete that as well. And we can pop another image back here. You can put an image of yourself just there if you wish to. And it looks like it's in stages, so we have to just delete various things as we go along. And then you go down here to your images down here to my files and you can choose a file of yourself. So here's one of myself and just scroll it down and expand it up. I don't use this one. I actually use Thumbnail Blaster myself, but I used to use Canva and so forth. But yeah, if you don't want to pay for that, you can just use Canva or Vista Create for that. 
you go over here to Canva and you can do the thumbnails for example YouTube thumbnails very very similar principles one thing I do like about it is you do have options for other things as well so you can choose to go blank if you wish to and you also have all these other thumbnails you can choose from you can also choose whether you want a minimalist or whether you want any of this kind of ones you can have a look over here the various types that are here and you can make a choice how to increase your income you can also you know have yourself doing that sort of look on your face and looking up at and put yourself there doing that sort of thing you can choose whatever you want some of these are pro some of these are free so let's go and have a look here at modern and let's choose one that we can use say for example I want to use alright video marketing and we'll click on this one with this one I've got a transparent background of a person just there we can just delete him all together and let's go over here to uploads and I have an upload right here of myself somewhere here this one will do just click on that and you can put yourself over here put yourself in the picture so as you stand out and you can then look like you're wanting to talk about something about video marketing strategy so there you go so you can obviously easy enough to change the words not hard to do and so forth now let's have a look at Vista create and see if we can do anything in reference to we can create a 3d book out of this let's go new design let's go ebook cover and hit nope just go ebook click on that I'm going to delete this one so it's not in the way okay now we can pick out of here what we want to have what we want to choose let's just choose any old one it doesn't really matter we'll just choose this one here I'm only just choosing this one because it's convenient just wait for that to wake up for a second that looks nice so we'll just keep that as is maybe drag that into the center well that's all right we'll just grab some of this stuff here drag that up move that up to about here now let's see if we can change this into an ebook of any kind let's go over here to templates and see if there's a way in which we can change this say 3d hit that see if it comes up with any options here no unfortunately that's a disappointment but what we can do is we can have a look through here and you can choose objects let's see if there's anything in the object section here that might help no didn't think so all right now let's go and have go over here to uh, canva and let's create something like this in canva let's go ebook hit that now it's going to be really simple we're just going to just grab any one of these it doesn't really matter which one I'll just grab a free one because well why not and just click on that one will do one thing I have discovered when doing this with Canva is that we do need to make sure we bring some of the information up and down so for example we're going to have this one here it's going to highlight over the top of that and we do need to drag that up closer to the center and we also need to grab this one here drag this down closer whoops a daisy drag that down closer to the picture the reason we do that is because we want to be able to keep all of this inside the book now that we've got that we can also bring that down just a little bit if we wish to grabbing that dragging that down and this one down the bottom here we can drag that up by grabbing hold of that and just pushing it up to there and that will be very nice now what we have to do is we have to download this as an actual image so in this particular case we're going to be doing this as a PNG file 
and we're going to keep it like that. We're just going to download that and we will then rebring this back up because we have to have it as a solid image or it won't work. So I'm just going to pause the video while I download this. Now all we have to do is go over here to uploads, click on that. And then I'm going to go over here to upload media. And I know it's called yellow composition book. So I'll wait for this to wake up and then I'll go and grab it from the file where I had it. Okay, so there it is. Let's just go grab this one and click on that. And what I want to do is I want to add a page here. Then I want to go up here and I want to delete this page right here. And then what I want to do is grab the hold of this when it comes back up. There we are. And it will come over here in just a moment. And it will sit in very nicely. There we are. We can just drag it over if we want to. And we can get it and just cover this entire page until we have it exactly the way we want it. That will do very nicely. Bring that down just a little bit. So as it covers. Now all we'd have to do is click on the actual image and you see where it says edit image. Click on that. We then click on this section just here. And then we scroll down to the 3D image that we want to place it into. Now the 3D image we want to place it into is in fact a book cover. And there it is right there. We just click on that. And this will literally create it for me. I don't have to do anything else. I don't have to align anything else up. That's all I have to do. And in just a moment, you'll see that it has actually created this beautiful three-dimensional cover. Now, as you can see, let's say, for example, I decided to keep it like this. And yeah, you'd want to necessarily have it as a transparent background, correct? So that being the case, you can see it's not transparent. You can drag that down just a little bit more so as it fits inside the image. Then all we need to do is download this. Now, what we're going to be doing is you can take it to a place like called remove.bg and it will be able to remove the background for you. I'm not going to go into all that right now. Let's now have a quick look at the pricing. Now the pricing for Canva and Vista Create are very very similar. Now if you have a look here of course you've got your free if you want to do the basic stuff and this is for Canva. That goes the same for Vista Create as well. So if you look at Vista Create, it's only, it doesn't cost you anything and it's very similar in its specs. 250,000 free templates. This one here has 1 million creative assets. Okay, so that's cool. Over here you've got 100 design types, social media and presentation letterheads and more. We have this one here. Brand kits, logos and fonts, background removal, free fonts, music, animation, background, 10 gigabytes storage. And over here you've got 5 gigabytes of cloud storage. Okay, so it's a little bit less in the storage, but that's okay. Now say for example you want to be able to decide that you want to go monthly. It's going to cost you, in Australian dollars, $17.99 a month. Whereas if you look at that in American dollars, it works out to be roughly $13. Now, if you look at the price of Vista Create, it's in fact $13 a month if you're doing a monthly plan. If you're doing a yearly plan, it's about $120. And if you're doing Canva, it also works out to be $164 Australian dollars, which then works out to be approximately $164, $117.65. And what I like about Canva is you get more with it. You actually have more options and you can do more with Canva than what you can with Vista Create. But saying that, you might have an issue with Canva and you, because it is oversaturating the market, especially on YouTube, you might find that, you know, that image is constantly being used and you want to try for a different place. In which case, Vista Create could very well be the place in which you want to go to be able to do your images because they are not as well known they don't necessarily have the same images as what Canva has. And you'll be able to express yourself through your images a lot better. Now, why do product creators need images? Well, we need them for our websites. We need them for our thumbnails, for our videos. We need them for many, many different things. And you'll be quite surprised how often we have to use these sort of places. All right, guys, it's now joke time. 
A boy watched his mother place one cent into the offering plate one Sunday morning. On the way home, the mother decided to criticize the sermon. The little boy looked at her and said, but mum, what do you expect for one cent? <laughs> All right guys, if you like this video, please consider smashing the like button as well as subscribing and hitting the bell icon so you can be notified whenever we upload more videos. Hey, while you're at, why not consider sharing and also leave a comment down below and let me know of anything else that you know of that Vista Create can do. Also, while you're at it, just to let you know that up here is a video that I believe you may enjoy. Down here is a video that YouTube thinks you might like. And over here is a button that you can click to be able to subscribe. All right, guys. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye for now.